okay, with the boom at 50 degrees, the jib is 50 degrees, everything was fine. We had a load of one brick, counter weight of one brick. Now, make believe we have to slew the crane for some reason. Yep. Rotate. Oh. It looks like the crane is starting to tip. It's going to tip over. So we'll run the numbers, but first throw another brick on the counterweight platform. Otherwise, I'll just keep tipping over. All right. There we go. Quick test, just make sure it's still good. Yep, there we go. Okay. So, kind of odd. You would assume that because it didn't tip over before, it shouldn't tip over now. But if you notice at the base of the crane, we have these things called outriggers, and these uh, provide additional support, and we can adjust the height of each one. But that's actually the pivot point also. Yep, and so because... The outrigger has that black rubber thing on top, so that's the outrigger. Okay, now, have the, the pipe going vertical from the outrigger. So go on top. Okay, so the distance from the vertical distance from the pivot point to where the triangle is, which is right there, is six inches. Not the two inches like before. Right, so we have to add six inches when we compute the torque of the boom and the load. Now, what about the, the torque of the, um, the tower itself? Well, before it was 11 inches from the pivot point to the CG, now it's... Only nine inches. Nine inches. And from the center of gravity of the counterweight to the pivot point, instead of being 30 inches, it's now 26. Okay, so now let's look at the numbers on the boards. So, like last time, we have a lot of the same principles here. Torque is weight times distance, and we'll take the same this time 9 inches instead of 11. Same weight, weight didn't change. Same thing for the brick. The brick didn't change weight, but the distance did change from 30 inches down to 26 because of those outriggers. So now instead of the previous torque, it's now 308.25 inch pounds, and this one's only 122 inch pounds. Add those together, we get 430.25 inch pounds of torque. And before we had 517. Because the distance decreased, so did the torque. Good. And so what was that? 400, 430. Okay. Yep. And now we want to calculate the torque for the load and the boom side. And this time, because it's six inches of difference, instead of just adding two inches to our 42 inches distance, now we have to add six. So instead of 42 inches, now it's a distance of 48.37. And instead of just 25 inches for the boom, now it's add 6 inches, 31.7. Weight times distance, weight times distance, you get 227.3 inch pounds of torque and 237.75 inch pounds of torque. Add those together, we get 465.05 inch pounds of torque. Compared to our tower side, you can see that's about 35 extra inch pounds of torque, and that's why it tipped over. Exactly. So instead of the crane side having greater torque and not tipping over, well now the boom and the load side has a greater torque and does tip over. Perfect. That's why we threw in another brick. Yep, and now it's stable. <laughs>